hey guys welcome back to another video for today's video i am going to be doing my february favorites which is going to be mostly favorite fragrances but i do have a few other beauty and self-care products towards the end i'm going to do the fragrances first and then we're going to go ahead and talk about the other products first of all i want to welcome any new subscribers and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support. You guys know that I always, always thank you guys because it means a lot to me. Before we get started, I also want to mention that in my previous videos, I did notice a little bit of background noise at times. And I just want to apologize in advance for that. Just in case, because I am a mother of three. And for the most part, I film when my one-year-old is taking a nap. But I have two other ones that are just playing around in the playroom and they're making noise sometimes the tv is on so i try to keep it as quiet as i can but sorry if there is a little bit of background noise at times so now we can go ahead and we can get started with the favorites i filled up this little basket with things that i have been using in february and we're gonna go ahead and just pick them i'm not putting them in any order i'm just going to talk to you about fragrances that i reached for a lot in the month of february the first fragrance i want to talk about is one that i discovered recently ever since i started making perfume videos it just won over my heart i am going to make a dedicated video on this and the flankers of it and that is elisa girl of now and this is the original one with the blue uh, i guess that's like a flower design this perfume is just so sweet so good so yummy it has pistachio notes almond notes it's gorgeous there's also patchouli in this which if you guys know i have always said the patchouli can be like a really bad thing for me but in here it is gorgeous it keeps the perfume from being very very sweet even though there is some people who say that they can't do this because it's too sweet but for me the patchouli just balances it out and it just gives you this sexy yummy fragrance it's like a sexy gourmand my mom came to visit me uh, from Miami and I live in the penthouse of a condo building and I went to go open the door when they came in through the elevator and she didn't tell me nothing at the moment because she didn't know that it was me that was smelling that way. So she said hi to me. We were getting ready to go visit a family member and I kept walking by her. And when we got to the car, she says, I don't know if it's the baby or if it's you, but something smells really, really good. And I told her to smell my wrist to see if it was a perfume. And she said, yes, that smells amazing and then like a couple days later we were sitting down in the kitchen table and we we're just talking about perfumes and i was just telling her how much i've been getting into fragrances and she just says can you please show me the one that you were wearing the other day and i sprayed it on her wrist and on her wrist i think she gets more of the orange blossom which i think is what's in here it smelled amazing on her but she on her skin i didn't get as much of the pistachio or almonds you can smell it but not as much as you can smell it on my skin but she was still so in love with it that she did place an order for this perfume i did use it a couple times or i would say like three times so it was filled up now it's a tiny little dent going on but this is amazing if you like gourmands the next one that i want to talk about that i love just as much but it's not as potent and is not as strong in when it comes to projection long wearing and all that but it's still a beautiful scent and this is fancy by jessica simpson this one is beautiful this one has pear this one has apricot red berries in the opening so it's very like fresh when you first put it on very like it just picks your mood up and then it's followed by caramel, almond, gardenia, jasmine, and then the base is a beautiful vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. This is beautiful. I cannot express how shocked I was. 
I can't express to you how shocked I was when I, I smelled this. I just wasn't expecting it to be so beautiful. And I'm so happy that I got the three ounce bottle. Because this is just amazing. I'm always going to have this in my collection. It is one of those fragrances that I just love at first sniff. I recommend it 100% and this would also be a sweet gourmand so but this one has a little bit more like a floral note on my skin so it's like a floral mixed with almond and caramel gorgeous fragrance the next one it's a favorite but I do got to give like a little warning with it this fragrance I only use if I am not going anywhere if I'm just gonna be home and I want to smell good it's not long lasting at all so it really makes me mad because the fragrance is so good and it's like clean and fresh and crisp. And I am talking about the FCUK Friction Her. I love the bottle. I love the look of it. I love the like the nude vibes that it gives. And this, it's like a coconut sweet scent, just clean fresh out the shower it smells so good but literally in like an hour or two it's gone so this works if you're just going to be home or if you just want to smell good but you just don't feel like wearing a heavy perfume that day and this is very affordable i believe this was like 20 dollars on ebay you can find it i believe you can find it at drugstores even like walgreens it just if the staying power was better it would be top for me because it's just such a nice fragrance but it does not last this one has coconut sponge sugar vanilla red berries apple blossom honeysuckle amber jasmine musk sandalwood woodsy notes and vetiver it's so gorgeous and i still use it I just wish it lasted longer and yes that's exactly what it is you get coconut in here you get sweet but there's this like woody the vetiver is there very soft very soft this is beautiful for every day i mean i don't mind being at home and just spraying myself whenever i want to smell it so that's why i've been using it a lot but only wish i have is that it lasted a little longer the next one is a good one it's one that gets super hyped and it gets a lot of talk on YouTube Jeremy fragrance is the one that kind of made everyone just kind of want to get this fragrance including myself he says it's a man eater very sexy scent and this is the juicy couture gold or gold couture by juicy couture and I got the small bottle which already has a dent in it as well and i have been wearing this at night um also to go out or just be at the house and this one is it opens up with berry notes the middle stage is honeysuckle and jasmine sandback and then the base is caramel vanilla amber and sandalwood this one i smelled three times before i purchased it and it was like a yes no yes no so the first time that i smelled it I feel like it reminded me too much of the like the bum bum cream from Rio de Janeiro and I was like well what am I gonna buy that for if it reminds me so much of that but I left it that day I didn't buy it went back again the next weekend and I just kept going to it and kept going to it and I just kept wondering why do I keep wanting to smell this fragrance and the last time that I put it on I put it on right here when I was at the store went home and I kept getting like these just i kept smelling myself like little movements that i would do and i would just smell so good like the dry down of this is gorgeous it starts off very like mainstream like caramel you know like the usual like gourmand scent but the dry down is beautiful i feel like it's unique on my skin i don't know if it's just my skin but i am obsessed with this one I love wearing this one and when I get through this bottle I am definitely purchasing the big one because I love this one and it's one that I want to have in my collection the next fragrance is another one kind of like this one where I just wear it on an everyday basis if I'm not doing anything special if I just want to smell clean but it's not long lasting and it really just turns into a skin scent and that is clean skin by 
I don't know if this is still considered reserved, like the one that's at Sephora, but I believe this is like the old packaging or like the old ones, but this one also has tiny little dent, nothing crazy because these are fragrances that I purchased uh, last month, so I did use them for a few days, but this one smells just clean, happy, bright. There's like no florals in there, like nothing too strong. The florals that are in here are just very soft. It's nothing too sharp and strong. And it's just a musky scent. So the notes on it are just musk and florals. Which whatever flowers is in here, it's very non-offensive, no headache inducing, nothing like that. It's a very clean, like the name suggests, skin fragrance. I really like this one just for when I'm... Um, I went to my dad's house last weekend and I slept over and when I woke up and I got dressed I just sprayed some of this on. Nothing nothing out of this world but it has a very pleasant, very clean, crisp smell to it. Fragrances. The next one is Dior Poison Girl. This is the EDT. I'm in love with this fragrance. I need to wear it more. I have it out in my rotation for March because I have. I'm going to be changing the fragrances that i use just so that i get the most out of my collection because when i have them all out i feel like i just can't i don't give them all love so each month i'm gonna be switching out the fragrances that i'm gonna be using so that i could do reviews and just test them out really good so this one's gonna be one that i'm gonna keep wearing this one is very fresh and like citrusy in the opening and then it just turns into this beautiful vanilla caramel creamy fragrance hard to explain because you just have to try it out there's tonka bean in here there's heliotrope which makes it kind of like an almondy type of feel to it and then you have rose notes you have orange blossom neroli so once you go through that fresh stage like the opening stage that's when it turns into the creamy vanilla type of scent but first you get that boost of like fresh energy smell um great for like if you're getting ready in the morning this is a gorgeous one yeah when you first spray it you're getting the lemon you're getting the orange you're getting there's frosted orange and literally i can pick all of those out and then boom the caramel comes in and she's like hello i'm here smell me i'm sexy this is like begging your man to come over and just hug you because it's just one of those fragrances that men love like those sweet vanilla fragrances mm. you need to try this you need to try this and i tried it once bought it sprayed it on myself i don't know what was going on with my skin that day but it smelled super weird on me and also i wasn't into fragrances as much as i am now so i feel like maybe my nose was just not ready for this fragrance but i gave it another chance and i am so happy i did because this is a must have must have and this one doesn't have a dent because i've only worn it maybe a couple times but this month she's gonna get a lot of love the last fragrance that i'm going to be talking about is a unique one and i honestly still don't know how i feel about it like it's a favorite because i did give it a lot of views i was testing it out but i feel like i still need to wear it out out because i haven't worn it anywhere out it's been mostly at bedtime and at home but it's very intriguing it's a beautiful scent and this is versace woman i hauled this one and i did a blind by haul with this one and when i smell this from the bottle it's not my favorite it's like very fruity but then it has like woodsy notes but when you spray it on the skin i feel like it goes through a lot of stages and i kind of like that in a perfume it's not really uh it's not linear on me so it starts off very fruity very like playful and flirty and then all of a sudden then you smell your wrist or wherever you put it and the dry down is like this woodsy mysterious there's just something about it that just it's like intriguing it's like an intriguing scent so i just reach for it a lot at bedtime for some reason i don't know if it's because i want to keep getting that scent but 
it's yeah it's fruity and I get the rose when I first smell it but the dry down yeah it's a lot of rose in the opening but it's like a it's not like a sweet sweet rose it's almost like a rose with a stem and then it starts drying down and that wood that the woodsy woody notes start coming through and it just makes it more of like a mysterious woman mm. it's good it's definitely something that you should try and this one you can find it at marshall's you can find it at tj maxx for like I think it's $19 so it's definitely affordable and I say that it's very unique and it's a good one to have in your collection um, I don't feel like this is a crowd pleaser or one that everyone would love so if you could snip it first definitely it's the smarter way to go but it smells so different when it starts to dry down it turns into this woody beautiful smell so when you first spray it don't you know don't say no right away don't put it off until you really get that dry down the dry down is very nice so those are my fragrance favorites and then now i'm just gonna go ahead and talk about a few items that i have been using a whole lot the first one being what i talked about the other day in my body care haul and this is the body shop almond milk honey body butter definitely making a dent on that i've been using it every single night and sometimes during the day this is gorgeous and when you layer your fragrances on top of this like these types of fragrances uh, like fancy and poison girl and also these that have almond notes so the girl of now and the gold couture you put this on first and since this has almond it's going to just highlight those notes in those perfumes so i really really have been enjoying this one and definitely when i run out of this i'm gonna go pick up some more and then the one that i have been using a lot at night to have like a really sweet smell is the bath and body works coconut cream pie and this is the 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream and this one i use i've been using it every single night and it just smells like a coconut sugar cookie it's so sweet but perfect for bedtime and it has like this you can smell the coconut you can smell like the super sweet like pie smell but then it also has like this vanilla or caramel feel to it so yeah the the notes are toasted coconut flakes caramel custard and golden pie crust that's exactly what i smell when i put this on but it's so good so sweet it's perfect for bedtime i love this one next i am also going to be showing you guys what i have been exfoliating my skin with in the shower because i am obsessed with these and this is the tree hut shea sugar scrub and this one is in the moroccan rose one i already went through a whole tub of a different scent and then this one is pretty much halfway through i used it today it smells really good this one smells really girly um the rose just like a very sweet rose and i just love the exfoliation that you get out of these so it doesn't matter which scent you pick up if you see this anywhere and you want to give it a try i definitely recommend they sell them at ulta you can find them at certain drug stores and i believe you can also order them from amazon so these are really really good and i have noticed a huge difference in my skin since i've started taking exfoliation very serious because i wasn't doing it as much as i should be doing it i was doing it maybe like once a week sometimes once every two weeks and it just wasn't doing anything for me i do it every other day now so i just exfoliate everywhere my chest my arms my legs my butt everywhere and when you wash it off it just you feel smooth um, it's been helping me a bunch with ingrown hairs to prevent them so i would exfoliate before i shave and i have been getting way less uh razor bumps or ingrown hair so definitely recommend that the last product is 
what I've been taking my makeup off at night. I used to use a lot of the cotton rounds with makeup remover and it was just annoying to have to buy the pads and then if I forgot to buy them I didn't have a way to remove my makeup so I started doing either oil cleansers or the balm cleansers. So right now I am using the Dermalogica pre-cleanse to remove my makeup and what I do is I do about two pumps of this. I massage it all over my face, let all the makeup just kind of melt off, work it in my eyelashes, get all the mascara off, the liner off. You look like a raccoon when you first do this. But then I take these amazing, amazing makeup eraser little pads and they have two sides. I never use this exfoliating side. I just use the white side and I wet it and I just kind of start removing all of my makeup and then I give them a really good wash and these came with a little laundry bag so I believe it brings five so that's perfect for every day of the week and then once I'm done with it I put it inside that laundry bag and when I do my laundry I shove that in the washer and they come out pretty clean they never come out perfect but it removes a lot of the makeup and once I wash my face in the shower and I get out, I don't have any makeup left on my face and I feel like that's been helping in keeping my face clear. I haven't been getting breakouts as much as I used to and I have been doing that religiously every time that I have makeup on. That is going to be it for my February favorites. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below any products that you've been loving or if you like any of these products and that is going to be it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.